Hi guys! I was hanging out with a couple of my friends recently and we were sharing our stories and experiences on growing up with a typical Asian mom. Which is why I decided to do this video to let those of you facing the same problems know that you are not alone. So let's begin. She necks all the time. It finished, don't waste food. I'm afraid. No, 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 it finished. It clean. Next time your boyfriend will have a lot of pimples. Hey, hey girl, chopstick don't put like that, no good. Bring it down. Put down the phone, don't keep using the phone while you're having dinner. Hey girl, last night I see your Instagram. Mixed with all this kind of guy, eh? keep smoking and smoking. Why you every day must go out? Can't you just stay at home for one day? Ayo, the room so messy. Can you pack or not? Always eat outside. Save money, eat at home. Why I talk to you, you always don't answer me. Eh? Can you don't always use the computer? Can you please study? You don't be rude and don't talk back. Hey, today is very cold. Bring a jacket along with you. Girl, why you never off the lights? Girl, today so hot, why you wear long sleeve? Oh, you. Forget to off the aircon again. She worries about everything. Don't stay with the phone beside you, wait, explode. Don't always sleep so late, later cannot wake up tomorrow. Have you packed your school bag? Have you done your homework? Cover blanket, wait, later got flu. And night, don't come back too late, okay? Not safe. And don't take Uber and grab, ah. the uncle will rape you. Oh, come on, forget about revealing clothes. You think your shorts is a little too short? Now your shirt's so short. Can you cover up? Mm. That's much better. If you're a girl, I'm pretty sure you understand this, but basically, you're not allowed to interact with any guys or even think about dating. And when exactly can you ever do so? Um, maybe when you're legal, according to your mother's handbook. For some reason, they always have their own logic to things. It's like they studied an extra subject back in school called the mother signs. Mummy, stomach ache! Must be you just now drink hot and then drink cold. That's why stomach ache lah. Mummy, you hate it! See lah, always ask you dry your hair first before you go to sleep. Don't listen. I'm sure most of you can relate to this point, but basically you have to wait for your parents to be in a good mood before you can ask for permission to go out. Or sometimes you even have to ask a week in advance. And when she finally lets you out, this is what happens. Every joke turns into a lecture. It's like your mom just doesn't get your sense of humor. <sighs> What's new? Comparing you to other people's children. Why can't you be like your cousin? So smart, so filial, so good. Every day stay at home. And what happens when you compare? Hey, you know my friends, huh? their mother give me a lot of pocket money. Huh? They're not like me so little. How to eat like that? You don't compare me with other people, ma. You're not happy, you go and be their daughter. Go, go, go. No matter what age you are, she will still treat you like you're five. But me, I'm already 21 years old. 21 years old so what? Big already? Huh? No need your mother lah, huh? 吃螃蟹了,可以飞了, can fly lah, huh? Go and do your own laundry lah, huh? Cook your own dinner, no need me. <laughs> so yeah, with all that being said, I'm still extremely thankful for everything my mom has done for me over the years. Yep, time for that whole cliche line, but I'm pretty sure every mom next and worries a lot because they care and love you. Somehow as I grew older, I learned that despite our fights and disagreements at times, I realized my mom will always have my back. She's the one that looks for my things when they are missing. She's the one that cleans up my room when it's messy. She's the one that buys me food when I'm hungry. She's the one that reminds me of things I tend to forget. And she's also the one that's been there for me every time I go through a very hard time. It's not the guys I date, it's not the friends I have, it's always my mom. And what's the best part about all this? She doesn't ask for anything in return. Because she genuinely loves you and wants to do all this for you. Her love is so unconditional. So yeah guys, cherish your mom while she's still around. And to my mom and all the moms out there, happy Mother's Day in advance. You guys are the greatest. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Leave a comment down in the comment section below as usual. Let me know if you have a mom like this or if you know of any moms like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!